YouTube, Enzo Gold here in the car, going out for some gold. Got a few hours pop up and it got too nice and too pretty out just to not go. Oh, they burnt right here at the road. See it smoking. Burn up the campground. Holy smokes. Let's take a look. It's all burn up. Wow, this area has changed. There's been some heavy water. It's broke this down. Logs don't last forever, so there was a log here holding retention back. And boy, this, uh, when it moved, more water was allowed to go through here during the flood, so it pushed more stuff up into here. And it's totally changed this hole. This goes, this used to be about the edge right in here at one time, but it's built up already way back down into here. And, uh, there's some flow. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to sluice with it, but hey, I'm going to get geared up real quick and move some of these big rocks around and see if we can get a sluice spot running and get it pumping and just start hammering on it. Let's see if I can get a little gold to show up today. Looking for that flood gold. I guess these rocks haven't been turned lately. Or maybe the algae grew that quick. There's some nice thick algae on these rocks back here. I think the flood would have rotated them, but maybe they just all came up. It's very vibrant. All right, probably 15 minutes of working. Yeah, it looks straight when I look at it that way, but if you look at this way, it's not straight. A lot of people want to put it in the fast water, but I built this up and try to put it in the middle where the water's going straight. That's where I wanted to put it, where the water's going straight. If I try to put it over here, the water's curving here, and it's going to continue to curve. You put a put it on a sluice, it's, it's not going to really work that great. Promise, promise it don't work that great. So even though it looks a little crooked, water's hitting it straight. It's running pretty good. So the material here. It's flood wash. Just let the water pull it into the sluice. I have a second hand and it takes the bigger rocks off so they don't go through. And uh, we'll do that a few times and start dumping it out. Hopefully I can get it, the sluice spec set back up a second time. When you pull it, sometimes you get shift. Don't know if we'll get too much gold, but we should see some. Let's do about, uh, let's do some scoops until we see a bunch of black sand in the box and then clean it out. update it's cleaned out set back up might run better this time little tweaks you see i didn't really punch a big hole maybe only 10 12 scoops just just working on the wall really and getting that set up and here's what come out of that and i'll tell you the truth there are some nice slivery pieces of gold there was a piece of there's another one was a piece of lead in there i didn't do a great job shaking this down because it's all going in the bucket to go back home and be processed. Is that another piece of coal? Well, who knows what's washed in on this flood. What I'm getting today is flood gold. Getting that flood. All right, a few scoops into the second run. My wall became too efficient and I needed to do an emergency clean out. And now I've created relief. So we'll try to even the water out. It's too strong on one side. But I cleaned it out anyway. And there's a a nice little speck of gold that's just a couple scoops just got going and uh, had a load shift so here we go now we got to stop it we got to shift we don't lose anything else 
punched a little bit deeper and found some soft clay. So I'm going to do a quick test, see if the gold made it to the clay, or if the gold's just on the top. We saw some nice flecky, specky pieces, pretty big for out here in the flood. So did it get deep? I'll find out. Couple specks of finer gold. Is that some more? Got just really shiny dirt in the sun. It's just shiny dirt in the sun. It's about the same. So there is some gold trapped up in that clay. Maybe it's better just to skim the top and get that flood. You're always shooting for the fences with that clay. You don't know if you're going to get something big. Nothing at all. A bunch of little stuff. So I'm going to continue working. In this line here, here we go. Working that line. I'm gonna bring it over this way a little bit. Just keep sending. I'm going to clean that out again right now, and uh, it's running a lot more smoother now with that relief. It's less. It was kind of running to one side. It's because it's running one side because the water, most of the water's hitting it from one side. So. Ooh, video update. Sounds getting low. Well, I did a couple runs. Did a couple more. Been having some water problems today. Check this out. I think he's shifting around. I put a big rock on it. I said, calm down. Uh, one of the problems is when the tailings, because they're such big tailings, when they pile up, I'm getting a backflow. And also a problem is underflow. It's a big problem. So I've been throwing all my cons in that and safety pants, uh, not safety pants, but the uh, Test pans along the way. Two a minute ago, I went and got a scoop of this ironstone flood right here. Just skimmed the top, and then I got a big chunk of clay that I found that fell out. It was just a soft gray clay with some stones in it. So I did both of them. Nothing in the ironstones, and two or three tiny dots, tiny little tiny specks in the clay. So, well, maybe, maybe they're both wasting my time. So I've been trying to expand the hole. There's the hole. I'm just trying to get this edge here towards the middle and up that way. Try not to get back too much towards the sluice here. I'm just shoveling away. Got a good little amount in the bucket. I'll be uh, putting that out. To the shack. We'll run it all in the little mini six and we'll see what, what the day came of it. But you know, I had a chance to get out here and get some fresh air. Enjoy a little sunshine. It's not super cold, it's uh, about 50. I'd say about 50 or so, but it feels good with the sunshine, but it's dropping quick. So I got one or two runs left in me at the most. Then I got to get out of here because I got other things I got to do. I bet you do too.
how much of that did I not cut out? That was a kind of a crappy run. Everything kind of went wrong all at once. But I got to the bottom over here in the middle. And this popped out. It looks like one of those irony pastries. It's been kind of gray to blue to white till just then, really. Some red started coming up, so I threw one big scoop over here. I went ahead and cleaned out the sluice. And as you see, I'm going to have to uh, get some more of that iron stone from over there and just fill in around it so you ain't got any problems. It gets real stable. The way I'm running it, it's got to be super stable to take the rocks beating through it. But I'm just dumping everything in the bucket. Let's pan this. All right, guys. This one's going down. I guess that's about it. I'm knee deep in this hole and it's pretty light stuff. There was some clay pockets, which I try to stay away from. I'd have to get the fire out and really break them down. But there's some bits that went through. Let's take a look at this. I finally got the sluice running pretty right. It's a little more level and it's uh, keeping it side to side. But I'm still getting gold every time. Sometimes it takes a while to get the sluice just right. You got to get a bed sturdy enough, solid enough. Took a while. Holes clearing out. So I guess I said I'm going to clear this out. I'm not going to pan on that. It's all going in the bucket. And then we'll snap our fingers and be back at the shop running the mini six and see what we got for the day. But hey, it was good exercise. Good fresh air. Good times. So, see y'all back at the shop. Hey guys, that's the last run here. Check this out. Boom. Got all this running. And uh, the hole's clearing out. Pretty good little hole there. It was mostly just a fill in from the last flood. One more rain, it'll be filled in again. So there it is. So I'm going to empty this out into the bucket, take it home to the shop, to the mini six, and see what we got for the day. Either way, it was good exercise, good time, good fun. So let's go. Boom, we're back here at the shop running this material. Almost done. Couldn't quite get the sluice running super great. Should have classified it better. Almost done. Let's see if we got a little gold today. Here's the take for the day. It doesn't look like much because I guess my bucket was contaminated from my previous trip. I had a bunch of mercury. I didn't see any mercury that day, so it all kind of clumped together. It was just enough mercury. If there's any left in there, it'll find the gold. So, well, that's what happened. Hmm.